Okay, so YouTube and Science World, welcome. Topic of today's video is how to find and develop the best way of using your face for playing the trumpet. This idea is called embouchure. I don't really like that word, but anyway, that's what it is. How is there a way we can use our face um, to get the most sound for the least amount of air? Because the less air you use, the easier it's going to become. So to do this, we need to take the player out of the equation. So the air is going to be mechanically supplied from my CPAP machine. That just goes into a cork and a brass pipe. Okay, and that can go inside your mouth. So then we just hold our breath or breathe in through the nose to support the body. But the trumpet playing part of it is going to be done by this in a measured amount. Now, so what we can do is start off by using a generous amount of pressure in the scheme of things, relatively speaking. Okay, so we're going to go to 20 millibars, right? And if we just let our face go, 20 millibars of pressure, relax, we'll get a pedal tone, no worries. If you're not getting a pedal tone, it's not because you're not blowing enough, okay? It must be because there's some tension in the way. So you just gotta let that go, keep working with it till you get your pedal tone. pedal tone is for your 20 millibars, the better. Then once we've done that, we need to do something to bring that pedal tone up to a bottom C. Now there are many theories about what that something is. Some people say you should smile, some people say you should pucker, some people say you should smile against the pucker, some people say you should put your um, uh, bottom lip towards your top teeth. You know, Jerome Callette says, oh, you stick your tongue in front of your teeth you know, um, and of course the traditional thing that Bill Adam used to subscribe was simply you just need a bit of firmness in the cheeks to make a channel into the mouthpiece. But whatever method you do use or want to use or check out, you can check that out. If you can get a sound out of just 20 millibars, then your method of doing it can't be that far wrong, okay? For me, I just firm up my cheeks a bit. <laughs> that we reduce the air so let's now go down to let's say 20, uh, 12 millibars and let's see if we can make a sound at all make a pedal tone just okay but we can't actually make a bottom C so let's go up a little bit more we're going to find the minimum pressure that we can make a bottom C let's try 14 now let's try 15 15 seems to be about it for me at the moment. So let's just sit on that 15 and do a kind of long setting exercise. This is a bit like what Kat Anderson used to um, recommend. He would just play a middle G softly as he could for like 20 minutes. So that was his warm up. In a way, we're doing the same thing. We're playing a long note, but we're taking all the stress of trying to blow quietly out of the equation. We're fully relaxing and letting the mechanical air do the work. Now we 
can also optimise or discover other things involved in playing the trumpet. One is by what method do you open your mouth? Even though we're not actually breathing in in this place, um, you can practice different ways of opening your mouth and see whether they help or hinder the process of getting straight to the note. <laughs> Also check out other issues such as the alignment of the teeth and the jaws. Do they make a difference? Do we get more sound at our minimum pressure? Whatever factors you think may have an influence, you're now free to investigate them in a properly managed way with the air supply being taken care of. Because if anything you do helps make the note louder, then that's probably a good thing, and or sound better in some way. And if it, if it makes it sound quieter or duller or whatever, then that's probably something you shouldn't be doing, or if it stops the sound altogether. But anyway, after you've kind of found a way of playing on now very minimal air, whatever that feels like, you just keep that happening while you apply more air pressure to go up. Now I'm playing that G with very little air at all. The trick here is to, there will be more resistance here as it's holding back more air pressure, but you've got to not got to freak out and change anything. You want to keep that optimised setting, okay, as much as possible. And so it's just a matter of practice, going back and reminding yourself what your optimised setting is. <laughs> saying I'm just going to keep that. And then once you're fairly confident that your playing has been well optimised, you don't have to starve the lips of air or anything. When you play, just go for it. Okay. But you'll know that you'll be able to do things as easily as possible. That's a big sound and sounds like I'm blowing like crazy, but actually I'm not. It's very easy. Okay, so good luck optimising your playing and have fun.